Hey friends, welcome back. I'm Jamie Lewis, and today we are checking out this Ernie Ball Music Man Bongo 5HH bass. <music> If you've seen any of my videos, you know there's only one thing that I actually care about, and that is, well, what's it sound like? But before we dive into this, I just want to say a big thank you to Zounds for loaning me all of the gear that I use to make these videos. So if you like what you hear and you want to get one, just click on those links that are in the description. I'll get a very small commission for it, so Thank you very much for supporting the channel. Right. So let's just start out with some rock music. I'm gonna set the pickup blend right down the middle and I'm gonna use the onboard preamp to boost the top end and the lows while cutting some of the muddier mid-range frequencies. And I'm also going to smack the strings a bit harder than usual to kind of emulate the sound of a guitar pick because I am a terrible pick player. Let's just see what that sounds like. <laughs> Definitely sounds like a music man to me, but before we start casting judgments, let's pull in the track and see what this bass sounds like in context. This song is called The Snake by my good friend, Bill Worrell. <laughs> Now I really want to hear this thing with a modern tube amp and a healthy dose of compression to get the grit, the attitude, and the dynamics of this bass to just pop out of the mix. So let's see what it sounds like when we add just a little bit of processing. Okay, how about metal? And I mean really metal. Like I'm talking drop A tuning, super fast licks, and speed picking. Now let's see how this bass handles the sludgiest of tunings and genres. I mean, that's pretty sludgy. Like, I would give anyone here 10 bucks if you can sing back what I just played for you. But you know what? To keep all things fair, let's pull in the track and let's hear what this thing sounds like in context. And believe it or not, this is actually a holiday song from a live Christmas musical that I perform every December on Zoom called It's a Very Bass Spot Christmas Special. So if the holiday season's coming up, depending on whenever it is that you're watching this, just head over to the store and you can get your concert tickets now. Right! Oh right, I forgot to tell you, the name of this Christmas song is Death, Blood, Murder, Kill. Now this might not be the sound that you're into, but I'm not ready to give up just yet. Let's see what happens when we add some crushing distortion some serious sculpting EQ and 
in-your-face compression. And let's see how brutal and articulate we can get this thing to sound. let's just play some old school pop rock music. Now, what I'm looking for in this case is a very mellow top end and a strong low mid presence without being muddy or boomy. And let's just see how close we can get to that using only the onboard electronics. <laughs> All right, now let's pull in the rest of the band and see how this bass is sitting in context. But instead we stand with empty hands and we've drawn our own lines in the sand and there's no one left to stand in our way. Well, you can cast out reason. Okay, I'm gonna run this bass through an Ampeg B15 emulator with a really fast compressor and a few strategic EQ moves. Let's see if we can't get this song placed on the next John Mayer record. But instead we stand with empty hands and we've drawn our own lines in the sand and there's no one left. Oh, he already hired Pino? Fuck! To stand in our way. Well, you can cast out reason, call it treason. You still not feeling high enough to keep ourselves or anyone else from looking in. So that's what the Ernie Ball Music Man Bongo 5HH sounds like. That's a, that's a mouthful. And again, I just want to say a big thank you to Zounds for loaning me all the equipment here. And if you want to grab one of these for yourself or any of the gear that I use in this video, just click on those links in the description. Now, this is the part of the video where I'm going to tell you all about how you can help me continue the work that I'm doing here. So just skip past all this if you think I'm a total piece of shit. Now, I'm sure you know this already, but Patreon is a big help for artists like myself. So please go support if you can. For as low as $5 a month, you get access to hundreds of premium videos every episode of The Basis Podcast. And also my deep dives where I share my professional opinions and all of my processing techniques for this bass and all of the gear that I review here at the channel. Yeah. If you want to learn how to play any of the music from this video, or you just want to learn how to play bass the way that I do, then check out thebassist.net. You'll find fully tabbed out bass transcriptions, bassless play-along files, and over 450 bass lessons, including a collegiate level music theory and ear training curriculum. Right! Here's like the easiest thing you can do to help support. Just find those Amazon links that are in the description and click on one the next time you shop at Amazon. That's it. I'll make a very small commission on anything you purchase over the next 24 hours. It doesn't cost you anything extra. And basically, we're just going to take some of that money that you would be giving to Jeff Bezos and you can share it with me instead. Give me all your fucking money. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and stay well. I'll see you next time.